I have for you a clip of Nikki Haley during an interview with CNN that is genuinely just stunning. She gets asked about Trump, specifically the fact that in the party of family values, he is a civilly liable rapist, found liable for sexual abuse in a court of law uh, in the civil trial that took place months ago. And Nikki Haley panics, as you're going to see, says a bunch of incoherent gobbledygook, uh, a word salad of all word salads, and then something about her not paying attention to any of these cases. Why? Why would you not pay attention to the leading contender for president of the United States in the party that you're also running uh, in to be president? <laughs> you're trying to get the nomination that he's probably going to get. You should pay attention to him being a civilly liable rapist. Uh, but with that being said, take a look at this. You're the only woman in this race. How do you feel about your party's front runner being held liable for sexual Abuse. I mean, first of all, I haven't paid attention to his his cases, and I'm not a lawyer. All I know is that he's innocent until proven guilty, and when he's proven guilty and he's sitting in a courtroom, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You've got investigations on Trump and Biden. A lot of people. I'm going to play more, but we have to dissect this clip. What? What are you talking about? Let me go back. And I'm not a lawyer. All I know is that he's innocent until proven guilty, and when he's proven guilty and he's sitting in a courtroom, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You've got investigations on Trump and Biden. But a lot of and people, forgive me. And then when he's proven guilty, that's exactly what I'm talking about. What's what, what, what? And then you say there's investigations into Biden and Trump. How dare you? It's just so aggravating, I'm so sick of this. What are you, what are you talking about? Biden's being investigated by Republicans in the House and finding nothing. And that's what I've warned of time and time again. They're going to use the fact that they're doing an investigation, then pointing at that investigation as proof that eh, Trump and Biden are kind of on the same footing. Yeah, that's kind of, they're both kind of I don't know, corrupt. I don't know, allegations on both sides. Yeah, one of them actually has so much evidence of these allegations that he was criminally charged and he is, it seems likely going to be convicted. We'll see how it goes. Due process, but it seems pretty likely, at least on one of the cases, he'll end up being convicted. Biden is being investigated what you actually could accurately call a witch hunt, even though they use that term in the other direction. And they're uncovering nothing so badly that even Republicans don't want to vote to impeach Biden. So you can't even put those in the same sentence. Okay. And also, wait, one last thing. Trump already was found liable. Now, it was a civil case, so he wasn't found criminally guilty, but he was found liable in a trial in a court of law and is having to pay out because of it. So it happened already, Nikki. You said a court of law. It happened. Now judge that. Respond to that. He had his day in court. But a lot of people, forgive me, but a lot of people uh, in the Republican Party blow it all off and say that it's all a witch hunt, and which is because what I he think says. some of the some of the cases but this have case been in political. Particular, this one I haven't looked at, but look, if he's found guilty, then he'll he needs to pay the price. He needs to do what he's supposed to. Every one of these cases, they need to be heard out. He needs to defend himself. If he is found guilty, he's going to pay the price. If he's not found guilty, then we move forward. What I will tell you is. I'm focused on the economy, the border, and education, and getting our country back on track. If he's sitting in a courtroom, that goes back to what I'm saying. We can't continue to be distracted. We can't continue to be in chaos. We have a country to save. Yeah. What we're asking for, Nikki, is for you and other Republicans to contend with the fact that the person, when you end up losing this race that you're going to endorse almost 100%, Trump, in a party that you have helped to brand, you're trying to brand it as family values and high character or something. And that guy is a civilly liable sexual abuser, but you won't condemn it. You'll say some just incoherent blob of words about, you know, guilty and innocent and Biden and they were both investigations. And I guess if there's something bad happened, then make sure that he's held accountable for it. But I don't know. I don't know. 
I haven't heard anything about that case. It's a massive news item, but I haven't heard a single thing. Which, by the way, is crazy. You're running for president against him, but also you're just a person who keeps up with politics. You've heard about the case. You know about the case. Oh, man. So aggravating. I need to calm down about that. Really, really upsetting. Uh, it's the cowardice. And she's going to endorse him. And she's going to continue to pretend as if she has no idea about that event in American history. A former president being found liable for sexually abusing somebody. And she's going to act like she's never heard about it. Quote, I haven't paid attention to his cases. Why not? While we're wrapping up our coverage of the Iowa caucuses last night and the aftermath of it and all that, I do want to play this moment from Rachel Maddow. It's really good. She explains why MSNBC is not going to just show Trump's speech, his victory speech. And I really was excited about this. It's Let me just interject. Sorry. I'm sorry. I just have to do a little bit no. of business just for a second. Um, at this point in the evening, the projected winner of the Iowa caucuses um, has just started giving his victory speech. Uh, we will keep an eye on that as it happens. Uh, we will let you know if there's any news made in that speech, if there's anything noteworthy, something substantive and important. Um, the reason I'm saying this is, of course, there is a reason that we and other news organizations have generally stopped giving an unfiltered live platform to remarks by former President Trump. It is not out of spite. It is not a decision that we relish. It is a decision that we regularly revisit. Um, and honestly, earnestly, it is not an easy decision. But there is a cost to us as a news organization of knowingly broadcasting untrue things. That is a fundamental truth of our business and who we are. And so his remarks tonight will not air here live. We will monitor them um, and let you know about any news that he makes. Steph, I interrupt you. I was just saying, I believe that's why J.B. Pritzker is not a... Finally, I know they did this uh, earlier. It's not a new policy they have, but... In the grand scheme of Trump and politics, finally, this is the standard, at least for MSNBC. I saw CNN broadcast a lot of his remarks, which is not playing Trump that's the problem. I play tons of clips of Trump. It's properly debunking what he's saying. And when you play an hour speech, then cut in and go, you know, he said the election was stolen, but that's not true. You have not properly, thoroughly gone through all of the untrue things that he spewed. And so it's more responsible because you just can't go through everything with a long speech to not broadcast it. Now, luckily for me, I just play you a clip, then I explain what was wrong with it, another clip. But if you're going to just broadcast the whole thing, you're giving a platform to lies and then not properly crushing them while they're being conveyed to the viewers and that's really dangerous and it's how trump got so much attention and so many ears to listen to what he had to say and people not understanding the deceit from him for far too long and then he developed this cult around him and so credit to msnbc for that a little bonus clip on newsmax one of the guys was talking during their coverage and uh, a man in his boxers walked in the background going to try to downplay it because as you correctly said they're basically supporting um uh ron they're basically supporting nikki haley so they're going to downplay it and they're going to try to say oh he and we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen yikes 